and Malachi. Today we are going to read How the Grinch Stole Christmas by Dr. Seuss. There's a naughty Grinch. <gasps> Look, it's a little who. Every who down in Whoville like Christmas a lot. But the Grinch who lived just north of Whoville did not. The Grinch hated Christmas, the whole Christmas season. Now please don't ask why. No one quite knows the reason. It could be that his head wasn't screwed on just right. It could be perhaps that his shoes were too tight. But I think that the most likely reason of all may have been that his heart was two sizes too small. Oh no. Okay, turn the page. But whatever the reason, his heart or his shoes, he stood there on Christmas Eve hating the Who's. Oh, he's so mad at them. Staring down from his cave with a sour, grinchy frown at the warm, lighted windows below in the town. For he knew every Who down in Whoville beneath was now busy hanging a mistletoe wreath. See their little town down here? Their town's down there? And they're hanging their stockings, he snarled with a sneer. Tomorrow is Christmas. It's practically here. Then he growled with his Grinch fingers, nervously drumming. I must find a way to stop this Christmas from coming. He doesn't want any Christmas. For tomorrow he knew. Okay, turn the page. All the who girls and boys would wake bright and early and they'd rush for their toys. And then, oh, the noise, oh, the noise, noise, noise. If that's one thing he hated, it was the noise, noise, noise. Oh, they're so loud. That's why the Grinch gets so mad at them for being way too loud. Okay, turn the page. Then the Who's young and old would sit down to a feast, and they'd feast, and they'd feast, and they'd feast. And they'd feast, 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 feast. Look at all that food they're eating. They're eating too much food on Christmas. Then would, then would feast on Who Pudding. They would feast on Who Pudding and rare Who Roast Beef which was something the Grinch couldn't stand for the least. Turn the page. And then they do something he liked least of all. Fa new Doris, fa new Doris, welcome Christmas, come this way. Every who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, would stand close together with Christmas bells ringing. They'd stand hand in hand, and the Who's would start singing. It's Christmas Day. Welcome, welcome, Far New Doris. Welcome, welcome. They'd sing, and they'd sing, and they'd sing, sing, sing. And the more the Grinch thought of the Who Christmas sing, the more the Grinch thought, I must stop this whole thing. For 53 years I've put up with it now. I must stop this Christmas from coming. <gasps> but how? Okay, turn the page. Then he got an idea. An awful idea. The Grinch got a wonderful, awful idea. I know just what to do. The Grinch laughed in his throat. And he made a quick Santa Claus hat and a Santa Claus coat. And he chuckled and clucked, what a great Grinchy trick. With this coat and this hat, I'll look just like Saint Nick. All I need is a reindeer, the Grinch looked around. But since reindeer are scarce, there were none to be found. Did that stop the old Grinch? No, the Grinch simply said, if I can't find a reindeer, I'll make one instead. He's so naughty. Why is he doing that to the puppy? He doesn't want to be mean. So he called his dog Max and he took some red thread and he tied a big horn to the top of his head. 
There's the horn. Okay, turn the page. Then he loaded some bags and some old empty sacks on a ramshackle sleigh and hitched up old Max. And he made Max pull him all the way down the hill. And then the Grinch said, get up! And the sleigh started down towards the homes where the Hoos lay a snooze in their town. Okay, turn the page. All their windows were dark, quiet snow filled the air, and the Hoos were all dreaming, sweet dreams without care. When he came to the first Little house on the square. This is stop number one, the old Grinch hiss. And he climbed to the roof with empty bags in his fist. Okay, turn the page. And then he slid down the chimney, a rather tight pinch. But if Santa could do it, so could the Grinch. Then he sl. He got stuck only once for a moment or two, and then he stuck his head out of the fireplace flue. Where the little who stockings all hung in a row, these stockings, he grinned, are the first things to go. He's going to take all the stockings down. <gasps> Look at, oh no, all their presents. Now what is he doing? And then he slithered and slunk with a smile most unpleasant. Around the whole room, he took every present. Pop guns and bicycle, roller skates, drums, checkerboards, tricycles, popcorns, and plums. And he stuffed them in bags. And then the Grinch very nimbly stuffed all the bags one by one up the whole chimney. Marshy is screaming in the back. I don't know if you can hear him. Then he slunk to the icebox. He took the Who's feast. He took the Who pudding. He took the roast beef. He cleaned out the icebox as quick as a flash. Why, the Grinch even took their last can of Who hash. <gasps> All of their tasty food is going to be gone now. Oh my gosh. There it goes. <gasps> Uh-oh. Then he stuffed all the food up the chimney with glee. And now, grinned the Grinch, I will stuff up the tree. Uh-oh. Let's turn the page. And then the Grinch grabbed the tree and he started to shove when he heard a small sound like a coo of a dove. Who is it? He turned around fast and he saw a small who. Little Cindy Lou Who, who was no more than two. The Grinch had been caught by this tiny Who daughter, who'd gotten out of bed for a cup of cold water. She's so thirsty. She stared at the Grinch and said, Santa Claus, why? Why are you taking our Christmas tree? Why? He was trying to save the Grinch. Yeah. But you know that old Grinch was so smart and so slick, he thought of a lie, and he thought it up quick. Oh, I forgot to say, turn the page. Wait, stay on this page. Why, my little sweet tot, that f the fake Santa Claus lied, there's, no, there's a light on this tree that won't light on one side, so I'm taking it home to my workshop, my dear. I'll fix it up there, then I'll bring it back here. And then his fib fooled the child. And then he patted her head. And then he got her a drink. And he sent her to bed. Good night. And when the little Cindy Lou who went to her bed with her cup, he went to the chimney and stuffed the whole tree up. <gasps> then the last, oh, turn the page. Then the last thing he took was a log for the fire. Then he went up the chimney the himself, the old liar. On their walls, he left nothing but hooks and some wire. He went back to And he left one speck of food that he left in a house was a crumb too small, even for a mouse. Turn the page. Then he did something. Then he did the same thing to the others whose houses. Leaving crumbs much too small for the other whose mouses. 
Oh my gosh. It was a quarter past dawn. All the who's still a a bed. All the who's still a snooze. And he packed up his sled. Packed it up with their presents. The ribbons and wrappings. The tags and the tinsels. The trimmings. The trappings. Three thousand feet up the up the side of Mount Crumpet, he rode to the tip top, poop to, to dump it, poo poo to the who's the Grinchy Grin, Grinchly humming. They're finding out now that no Christmas is coming. Turn the page. They're waking up. I know just what they'll do. Their mouths will hang open in a minute or two, and all the hoes will cry boo hoo hoo. And that is a noise, grinned the Grinch, that I simply must hear. So he paused, and the Grinch put his hand to his ear. He wants to hear them crying. And then he did hear a sound rising over the snow. It started in low, then it started to grow. Fanu Doris, Fanu Doris, welcome Christmas, come this way. But the sound wasn't sad, why the sound sounded merry. It couldn't be so, but it was very merry, very. He stared down at the Whoville, the Grinch popped his eyes. Then he shook his head with a shocking surprise. Fanu Doris, Fanu Doris, welcome Christmas, come this way. Every who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, was singing without any presents at all. He hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. It came somehow or another. It came just the same. Mm -hmm. And the Grinch, with his Grinch feet, eyes cold in the snow, stood puzzling and puzzling. How could it be so? It came without ribbons. It came without tags. It came without packages, boxes, or bags. And he puzzled three hours until his puzzler was sore. Then the Grinch thought of something he hadn't thought of before. Maybe Christmas, he thought doesn't come from the store. Maybe Christmas, perhaps, needs a little bit more. <coughs> and what happened then? Well, in Whoville, they say, the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. Let's go back down and give everyone their presents, Max. And the minute his heart didn't feel quite so tight, he whizzed with his load through the bright morning light. Whoa. Oh, right. And he brought back the toys and the food for the feast. And he, the Grinch himself, carved the roast beef. And look, he's eating with Cindy Lou right there. Okay, bye. Say bye, Miles. Say bye, Malachi. Bye. Bye.